Hey everyone, welcome to Neuropod, a channel about all things Neuralink. My name is Ryan Tanaka, and this update episode includes a couple cool clips. So do me a favor and stick around to the end of the episode. The outline for this episode starts with highlights from a recent interview with leaders at BrainGate. Then next, we'll take a look at the Neuralink job openings and revisit what Elon is prioritizing for the team. And we'll finish it off with some stats about Neuralink's growth and the overall importance of what Neuralink's doing. First, one of the primary leaders of the BrainGate team, Dr. Lee Hochberg, was interviewed about a month ago. During that conversation, he discussed some of the goals of their research and some info related to the trials that they're conducting. Dr. Hochberg also mentioned that BrainGate is working alongside Neuralink. When asked about whether there are companies investing big dollars in the space versus academic research money, Dr. Hochberg indicated the Division of Clinical Research at the Massachusetts General Hospital has an agreement with three companies. Neuralink, Paradromics, and Synchron. He adds that his team is trying to work in coordination with these companies to help share what they've learned in their research. By doing so, companies like Neuralink can then provide the financial and human resources necessary to develop the tech into a real, viable product. According to the BrainGate website, their quote, research team includes leading neurologists, neuroscientists, engineers, computer scientists, neurosurgeons, mathematicians, and other researchers all focused on developing brain-computer interface, or BCI, technologies to restore the communication, mobility, and independence of people with neurologic disease, injury, or limb loss, unquote. For those who have listened to our previous episodes or otherwise keeping tabs on Neuralink, these ambitions probably sound pretty familiar because Neuralink is working on the same thing, but on a much wider commercial scale. I should point out that BrainGate has been working on this research for over a decade, and help pioneer a lot of the advancements the industry is benefiting from today. In other words, assuming Neuralink is successful in building the world's most advanced high-bandwidth brain-machine interfaces, it's not like they did it on their own. And there's no need to be overly concerned regarding the maturity of the technology. It'll just be important to strike that delicate balance of being a little skeptical yet excited at the same time. But in order to get to that point, there are still many intermediate steps the most critical of which is simply getting the smartest, most passionate, and capable people working on developing all the necessary components to make Neuralink successful. In the 2020 Summer Update event, Elon emphasized the desire to recruit great candidates to work at Neuralink. He reiterated the current focus of the team is to help anyone with brain or spine disorders. Here's what he had to say. So I want to emphasize the, the purpose of Neuralink. Like, uh, what do we, what's our goal? Our goal is to solve important spine and brain problems with a seamlessly, seamlessly implant, implanted device. So you want to have a device that you can basically uh, put in your head um, and feel and look totally normal, uh, but it solves uh, some, some important problem um, in your brain or spine. And the reality is that almost everyone uh, over time will develop brain and spine problems. Uh, these range from uh, minor to very severe, but if you live long enough, everyone's going to basically have some kind of neurological disorder. And these range from, you know, from memory loss to brain damage. But the thing that's important to appreciate is that an implantable device can actually solve these problems. Um, and I think a lot of people don't, don't quite realize that. This event was held at the end of August 2020. At that time, I believe Neuralink had fewer than 100 employees and no major presence outside of California. Now, the team is working to grow a big presence in Austin, Texas. They made their first head of construction hire and have a couple other job openings in Austin. These include a mechanical, electrical, and plumbing engineer position and another general application position where you can tell the team what your skills and qualifications are, and they may then create a new position to fit your skills. These positions are only a couple of the currently available 28 open positions on the Neuralink website. Keep in mind that Max Hodak and Elon joked about how the team will eventually grow in size to more than 10,000 people, so the opportunities to join the company now are better suited for applicants with a wide variety of skills than they may be in the future. They need people to work on nearly any aspect of the business. I haven't been too diligent about keeping track of the employee count on LinkedIn, but here's a chart with some data points for reference. I expect for this growth to accelerate modestly and steadily increase throughout the next decade. Everyday Tesla asks, how big is the Neuralink team and how much do you expect it to grow in the near future? Uh, there are about 100 people right now. Um, I think over time, there, there might be 10,000 or more people at Neuralink. Um, 
So I think, uh, yeah. <laughs> the, a couple orders of magnitude? Yeah, exactly. A couple orders of magnitude. Those are my favorite phrases. Um, yeah, just, you know, a couple orders of magnitude is no big deal. <laughs> now, going back to the advancements from BrainGate, here's a clip demonstrating the joy that a patient can have when these technologies are deployed safely and effectively. One example of this is a lady who was able to drink essentially on her own for the first time in 10 years. The joy on her face is why Neuralink needs to recruit fantastic talent. Building the world's most advanced brain-machine interface will not be easy and will require people who are dedicated to the mission of helping cure brain disorders. If you have ALS and are interested in learning more about the limited trial, I would encourage you to check out the rest of the video posted by the Unite Genomics team. A link to the video in the description. A special shout out to the Patreon supporting the channel. Your support helps fuel us to keep creating content for Neuropod. Since starting eight months ago, Neuropod has earned an average net income of less than $300 a month. So if you like the episode or the content we're sharing, please consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below the video. Any support you all can provide will help us continue creating and improving the content we share. Thanks for listening and hope you join us again for the next one.